ज्ञानाय साधूना विनाशाय च दुष्कृता धर्म संभावनाताय शंभवामी युके युके This shloka from the Gita can be understood as to protect the righteous to annihilate the wicked and to re-establish the principles of dharma appear on this earth age after age Lord Krishna during his popular exhortation to Arjuna in the midst of the Kurukshetra war reminds his bhakta that he will come in different forms to bring about order whenever there arises chaos in the society religion is that which supposedly helps to refine or elevate human mind to something beyond oneself this may be an outpouring into the divine milieu in the form of bhakti or for some it may be an overflowing into other in the form of loving service in both cases we human beings as a whole employ our forms to express our experience this self expression through art is possible obviously with certain clear exceptions in times of peace when the mind is in harmony with the environment as one of the ancient human way of life sanadana dharma in its pristine purity promotes peace and harmony which is made clear through the various art forms that has been involved for centuries art i believe is a divine way of bringing about order amidst chaos the shiva tandava is to be seen as the divine means to bring about order in the chaotic world Shiva Thandava Sutram is a hymn written and sung by Ravana in praise of Lord Shiva. The Shiva Thandava Sutram represents the cosmic dance of Lord Shiva that eliminates all negative energies. The hymn includes 15 verses and each verse describes the fearless Shiva and his eternal beauty in great detail. The Krishna Leela is yet another means to establish harmony whenever there is a confusion caused by evil the primary purpose behind krishna leela is to provide souls with a basis for engaging in loving devotion art is a means to culture or discipline human mind for instance whenever some true artist is in a confusion they could clear the clouds within by giving themselves up into a soulful expression through their art form This is true for any artist. Art forms may include music and dance, architecture, painting, sculpture and the like. Music and dance according to the Hindu understanding could be a major means to a lofty deed that is experience of communion with the divinity. Immersing oneself totally into an art form is a sure means to experience the divine. We can take the examples of bhajans. What do we do there? We repeat simple couplets or quartets for a long time with varied pitch, tune, etc. And it takes the devotee to a state of ecstasy. Meera Bai, Tulsi Das, Tukaram and such mystics are examples of the same. Hindu music and dance also incorporate elements from other cultures such as Persian, Arabic, Turkish and western to create a fusion and a dialogue. Some examples of such music and dance are the Carnatic and Hindustani music, the Bharatanatyam and Kathak dance, the bhajan and qali devotional music, down to the present day art forms in music and dance. Painting is another form of art that expresses the peace and harmony of Hindu culture. Hindu painting depicts various themes and stories from the scriptures such as Ramayana, the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita and the Puranas. The paintings also illustrate the concepts and the values of Hindu philosophy such as karma, dharma, moksha and bhakti using vibrant colors, intricate patterns and symbolic imagery to provide a spiritual vision alongside the visual impact hindu painting also draws inspiration from other cultures such as mughal style of painting this helps create a diverse and dynamic artistic tradition 
Some examples of such painting are the Ajanta Caves in Maharashtra, Ravi Verma paintings, the Pichwai paintings of Nadwara, and the Madhubani paintings of Bihar. Hindu architecture is known for its diversity and beauty as well as its symbolism and spirituality. Hindu temples, for example, are not only places of worship but also expressions of the cosmic order and the divine presence. They are designed to create a sense of harmony between the human and the divine as well as between the individual and the community. Hindu temples often incorporate elements from other religions such as Buddhism, Jainism, Islam and Christianity to show respect and appreciation for other traditions. Prakadishwara temple in Tanjavur, the Kailasha temple in Ellora, the Lotus temple in Delhi and the Akshadam temple in Gandhinagar are some examples. Sculpture is another form of art that showcases the diversity and inclusiveness of Hindu culture. Hindu sculpture depicts various aspects of Hindu mythology, philosophy and spirituality such as God, Goddesses, Sages, Heroes and Demons. It also portrays the ideals of beauty, grace and harmony as well as the emotions of love, devotion and joy. Hindu sculpture often borrows motifs and styles from other cultures such as Greek, Roman, Persian and Chinese to create a unique and universal aesthetic experience for the beholder. Some examples of such sculpture are found in the Kajraho temples in Madhya Pradesh, the Elephanta Caves in Maharashtra, the Meenakshi temple in Madurai and the Sun temple in Kona each unique masterpieces in themselves. Hindu literature is another art form that promote peace and harmony. Hindu literature is generally based on the concept of Sanadhana Dharma, the eternal law and Vedanta that guides the moral and ethical conduct of human beings as well as the ultimate truth and reality of our very existence. Hindu literature and philosophy include various genres such as poetry, drama, epics, stories, essays and dialogues that explore different aspects and dimensions of life. It interacts with other cultures such as Greek, Chinese, Islamic and Western to create a comparative and a critical perspective. We can ideally see any art form as a unifying factor in the society as the art in itself is a clarion call to the human mind to refine itself in order to reach out to the rare field realm of divinity. Hinduism is known for its inclusive and open outlook towards people with varied ideologies and perspectives. Tolerance and mutual coexistence have been the hallmark of the Hindu art and culture. However, certain sections have hijacked the nuances of this very refined aspect of Hinduism for selfish interests. This is not a modern development. This has been the case for centuries together by a minuscule section of people in any part of the world. Let the refreshing aroma of fine art and culture spread into the minds of all people to bring about a more human and inclusive nature, which is the very essence of human mind. Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Hi